hello welcome back to my channel amanda's tarot if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for returning to my channel and if you are new here feel free to hit the like button the subscribe button and drop a comment down below if this reading resonates with you or any of my other readings resonate with you this is going to be a reading on um in the shadows what is your person thinking what is the person thinking that walked away from you is that person coming back do they still have feelings along the lines of that <clears throat> So before we continue, um, I am also closed for personals. Thank you guys to everybody who has booked a reading with me and donated to my channel. I truly do appreciate that. And you guys don't forget to hit that like button, that like button, that like button, because I like that like button. <laughs> Anyways, um, before we get started, let's go ahead and send back energy to anybody who is sending us energy. So for myself and anybody who watches this video, we ask you, God and Holy Spirit, to send back all energy that is being sent our way. If somebody is sending us good energy and good intent, we ask that you send that energy back to them ten times fold. If somebody is sending us negative energy, praying on our downfall, trying to send us ill will, doing unwanted spell work, sending us the evil eye, any things of those natures, we ask that you send that energy back to them ten times fold. We ask that you block that energy out of our lives. That energy is for them to keep and it no longer affects us or is a part of our lives. So much to be so just done. Amen. Okay, so these cards here can be pretty triggering. So I'm going to put a trigger warning in the um, title just in case they may be really triggering. Holy Spirit and Spirit guys, we would like to thank you for being here with us. We would like to ask you for clear, accurate messages that we need to hear. We would like to ask for your guidance and protection through this reading also. Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to know? What's in the shadows of the person that walked away from them? What's in the shadows of their mind? Somebody could be feeling like some anger towards you. Somebody's mad at you. This person that walked away here. I understand you better now. Holy Spirit, what else does the collective need to know? I'll take one from the top. Thank you. Thank you for leaving me. I never lose I never used to look at you in that way. I never wanted to I never want to feel that way again. I'm picking up that's your energy. You're telling this person I never want to feel this way again. I'm picking up an energy where this person didn't just walk away from you like they ghosted you with no explanation. And it's like it was an eye opener for you and you were like, "Well, thank you for leaving me because it opened up my eyes and I understand you better now." Is what I'm picking up here. I know more than you think. You knew some things about this person. You knew some things about this person that they didn't think that you knew. Some secrets this person may have had. Holy Spirit, what else does my collective need to know? What is in the shadows of this person's mind? What is in the shadows of the person's mind? I'll take one from the top. I don't trust you. This person feels like they don't, they can't trust you. This person doesn't trust you. I'm picking up. That's a mutual thing. You don't trust this person and this person doesn't trust you. You are not a part of my plans. I'm picking up like a real stubborn energy here where this person just like really wants you to, how can I say? They want you to feel like. I hate to say it, but this person really is trying to make you feel like they don't fuck with you for something that you've done to them is what I'm picking up here. Something they feel that you've done to them. This person is saying you're not a part of my plans. I'm picking up an energy with that right there. This person is is trying to this person is saying that they don't they don't love you like they don't love you as much as what they really do they're trying to make you feel like they don't love you is what i'm putting on what is what i'm picking up here i'm picking up this is the energy where this person was saying some really ignorant out the way type of things to you there was a lot of arguments and towers here i'm picking up a very toxic energy here i wish you would come back i wish you would come back yeah this is this is the energy where this person was like 
trying to make you feel like they didn't care about you like there was no love there you weren't a part of my plans i don't love you type of energy i'm going my separate way i'm ghosting you type of energy i'm going to give you the solid treatment type of energy but this person wishes that you would really reach out to them holy spirit give me another message from my collective what do they need to know I lied to you this person was telling lies to you like I said this person was trying to make it seem like they didn't care about you I'm hearing somebody's person like really say like I don't give a fuck about you this person was like being real nasty at the mouth just like trying to make it seem like they didn't care and it was a lie I lied to you this person wishes that you will come back this person wishes that you will reach out they're lying to you about how they feel they're lying about you. They're lying to you about how much love they have for you. This person has feelings for you. This is somebody who was trying to make you cry. This was somebody who was trying to like pull emotions out of you. This is somebody who was like trying to make you feel some type of way. I'm picking up an energy where you didn't really even do nothing wrong to this person. It was just their insecurities. I'm hearing cheating. This person could have accused you of cheating and you weren't cheating. But they ran with it. This is somebody who listens to other people. Who looks for other people's approval. Sometimes I hear your voice. I'm picking up. That's both of your energies there. Y'all both still think about each other. I'm hearing but you're not good for me. I'm picking up. That's a mutual energy. It's like y'all two aren't good for each other. <clears throat> you two aren't good for each other it's like y'all are toxic it's a toxic relationship this may not resonate for everybody but there's a lot of people watching this reading so you could have been being toxic to this person this person was being toxic towards you there was a lot of tower moments here there was a lot of arguments here there was a lot of disagreements here like standoffish energy here and this person ghosted you and walked away. And now this person wishes that you will reach out. This person is lying to you about how they feel. I'm picking up an energy where you could be lying to this person about how you feel. You're trying to like make it seem like you don't think about this person no more. But you do think about this person. And they do think about you. It's like you are lying to each other. Sometimes I hear your voice. Take one from the top. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm picking up with this card here. This is like an on and off relationship here. Then y'all get back together. This person will say they're sorry for ghosting you. And it's like y'all back together again. It's like an off and on toxic thing here. I'm still hearing tower moments. A lot of disagreements and arguments here. A lot of fighting here. I'm happy that it's over. Yeah, I'm happy that it's over. It's like... Somebody's really trying to, this could be you or this could be your person. Somebody's really trying to like make the other person feel so unwanted as a revenge type thing. They're trying to make somebody feel, trying to feel so unwanted, but they're lying. They're lying. They want you. They don't trust you. They don't trust you, but they want you. They love you. I want to tell you. So much. I want to tell you so much. I'm picking up that right there with this card being up under this here. I wish you would come back. I want to tell you so much. I wish you would come back. This person wants to. They're being stubborn. They don't want to reach out to you. They want you to reach out. I'm hearing this time. So I'm still picking up energy. We're like. This is like a relationship that y'all have on and off quite often. Block each other, unblock each other, walk away from each other, then get back together. This person wants to tell you that they wish that you would come back. <clears throat> this person wants to tell you that they're lying about their feelings. 
this person is in their head about you. I'm also picking up with this sorry, I'm sorry card. This person said some things to you that it's like the conversation is like replaying over and over in their head. They're in regret of some things that they said to you. They said something ignorant. This is somebody who has like a really, I don't want to say sassy because this could be a masculine. Whatever the case may be, this person is like kind of snappy. This could be somebody who's really smart at the mouth. give me another yeah i'll definitely put a trigger warning i did this i did i used these cards to do um my own reading on myself and it triggered me it triggered me it triggered me because <laughs> i knew it was some stupid ass shit that my past person would say to me and i was like what the fuck i was ready to throw this deck away i'm not gonna lie that's why i've been hesitant to use it here because it really does call out the toxic qualities of a relationship but sometimes, and I know people like hate the toxic readings and they be like, oh, this is so toxic. I can't listen to it. But it, it's a reality. Some people are in toxic fucking relationships. Like there's other readers who be like, why are you doing toxic readings? Like it's people get in toxic relationships. Readers themselves get into toxic relationships. Nobody's perfect. So sometimes when you do readings, they're going to be toxic and they're going to be calling out the fact that you were with somebody that liked to talk shit to you and try to make you cry and fuck around on you, that type of of energy right there like it but anyways i got a little off track with that but that was the reason that i was hesitant to use this deck because when i first got it and i opened it up and i cleansed it and whatnot and you know connected with my guys and whatnot and then i'm like uh let me test it out on myself what would he say type of thing that shit triggered me it triggered me but anyways we are more alike than i admit I know we have a soul connection. This person knows that y'all have a soul connection. This person knows. I'm picking up. This could be just a soul tie. This could be a soul tie type of energy. Not a soul connection. There's a difference there. This is more like a soul tie type of energy. You might feel like tied to this person. This person feels the same way. I'm picking up a heavy energy where this person is really trying to put on a front like they don't give a fuck. And they do. They do. You did not break me. I'm picking up that's your energy there. You're telling this person you didn't break me with all this toxic behavior here that you had. Okay, go to the bathroom, babe. Okay, let's pull two more. What is in the shadows of this person's mind that walked away? Holy Spirit. I'll take two straight off the deck. I fantasize about you. I don't need your approval. I'm picking up this person. Well, I don't need your approval. This person, yes, it's too late. You're telling this person, yes, it's too late. Or they're telling you, yes, it's too late. Somebody, this could be a mutual thing where you're telling each other. I'm picking up an energy where you could go. You're, this is You two are going back and forth with each other is what I'm picking up here. And I'm picking up this is a card here. <clears throat> You both still feel really connected to each other and you both are fantasizing about each other. I don't need your approval. I'm picking up that's your energy telling this person I don't need your approval. It's like this person was trying to control you. This person was like really kind of trying to control. This could have been somebody who could have been trying to tell you how to dress, not what to wear, how you wear your hair, how you do your makeup, that type of energy there. And you're like finally telling this person I don't need your approval. If you don't like what the fuck I got on, then nigga look the other way that type of energy like you're like you're putting your foot down with this person you're putting boundaries with this person like you're putting up a wall against this person i'm picking up a lot of too much i'm looking at much and i see too much drama here this person is too much drama too controlling but then you want to sit there and do you type of energy here let me pull three from this deck here Holy Spirit, what else would you like the collective to know? Feeling lost. This person is really feeling lost. Confused and unsure on what to do. And with that card right there, I'm picking up an energy where this person is still stuck in their head about some things that they said to you that they shouldn't have said to you. I'm hearing cross the line. This person knows they crossed the line. They said something. Something was said here. 
some things were said this could have been multiple things that were said this person knows that they were treating you like shit this person knows that they had shitty behavior it's not you it's me some inner work needs to be done this person needs to do some inner work rude awakening things fall apart to make room for things fall apart to make way for sturdier foundation you had a rude awakening about this person it's like this time with the split up here that you guys are having here vice be mindful of negative of negative and toxic behaviors shadow work is may be necessary for yourself so be aware of some toxic traits that you got going on within yourself that's like a reflection of this relationship here this is why you drew this person in you need to do some shadow work but with rude awakening here it's like now that you guys have separated this last go around it's like you're opening up your eyes and you're viewing things different now you're viewing things a little bit different now like you're you're pulling a you're pulling a little bit more away from this person. You're starting to feel slightly different about them, and you're like, I don't know if I want to go back to this here. I don't I don't know if I want to keep doing this on and off, hot and cold bullshit. And you know what I mean? Like that type of energy is what I'm picking up here. Okay, so that is the reading for you guys. Um, I definitely will put a trigger reading warning on that on the title. For you guys, anyways, um, if you found a resonating message with that, please do give me a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up and show me support anyway. It is truly appreciated. You know, I love you guys so much. And um, I will check you out next reading. I love you guys so much.